Welcome to my channel. This is the uh, Gripen. It's a 64 millimeter EDF. The design is by uh, a YouTuber. Goes by Built Fast. Two words, all caps. Um, I bought this off Cults 3D, um, and I haven't maidened it yet. Weather's not great, and I'm actually for this. I'm waiting for. A new EDF. So maybe a little while before I get this one done. Uh, but I did want to comment about the build. Uh, it's pretty simple, go together. I've got, I'll show how I put it together after this. Um, overall, okay. You know, it's all, this is all lightweight PLA, which is not great to work with or print and you know it's kind of fuzzy and you got to do a lot of cleanup I mentioned some of the areas where I thought the support wasn't great but um, if there's one um, again overall I like it I think it turned out really nice uh, if there's a criticism that I would weigh it's that the wings are not ribbed everything's done Everything's done with uh, just infill, and I'll and I use mostly four and a half versus the two and a half. Uh, my plane so far without the motor it has the servos installed, but no motor, battery, or receiver. Receivers a few grams, but um, is 450 grams, so roughly half a roll of uh, lightweight PLA, depending on what you pay for it. I paid about 40 bucks, so that's about $20 for the PLA, another $13 for the files, so $35 into it plus, you know, the equipment, which obviously I'll use again when and, or I guess when this crashes, hopefully I'll get some time. But the reason I criticize the, the using infill in the wings, they're not that strong. I mean, they're, they seem strong, they're, the wingspan's not huge, but there's... There isn't a carbon fiber rod in there. There's really no structure, and uh, I my experience with that is it's not going to last. It'll fatigue and then come loose from the sides, and things will get floppy. So I expect at one point I'll do some sort of high G maneuver, and it will uh, wings will bend and it will tip stall. Uh, but that's all speculation. Right now, I'm pretty happy with the with, with the way the model turned out. Um, he does everything uh, without finishing. Finishing roughly adds, you know, twice the amount of time to building the model. Uh, it went together very quickly, so um, they don't have that much invested in it. Anyway, can't wait to do the maiden. I'm looking forward to it. If you've seen my videos on my experience of designing and flying a uh, 3d printed plane uh, I don't <laughs> I don't have a good track record there uh, so maybe I shouldn't be one to criticize at all but uh, you know so far I, if this flies as good as he does in his videos I'm gonna be pretty happy oh, one final note is he does uh, on cults say that he has a Facebook group that he talks about his planes there may be information there. I did not look at that. I built this without really any input except what's on the Colts page. Well, here are all the pieces. They're generally in orientation. They're in orientation of how I printed them. I'm just going to comment piece by piece. This printed in actually four and a half infill. It cost me about a gram. Uh, I had to put support in this area, and that area there is not that clean. So uh, these, however, canopy pieces front and back, um, support was fine. And on the back side, this uh, didn't require any support. I printed it at four and a half. Uh, these two are two and a half as recommended. This piece is also at two and a half. Printed at four and a half, but it was 70 grams heavier. So, yeah. 
uh, printed it two and a half and did just fine, no supports. This one required supports. I printed it in this orientation like, like you see here and it required supports in this area and in these areas. It came out okay. I suppose I could have done it, I was thinking I could have done it this way, but with the wings, yeah, it wouldn't work. So um, if I had a suggestion, I would turn this shape here, turn it around 180 degrees and soften this there so that um, this area wouldn't need support. It only needs support in here unless you were able to fit a um, you know a radius in here to, so that your um, servo and it would be nice not to have to print with supports yeah. uh, this I printed in this orientation had to put support in this area it's at two and a half grams uh, same with uh, no I'm sorry this one's four and a half um, in fill setting this is also four and a half infill setting printed just like that. Uh, I think I put a brim on that. Definitely, uh, I did not put a brim on this, the Elevons. I don't understand how these are supposed to articulate like that. So obviously there's going to be a gap. And I don't understand why this just wasn't either rounded. I mean, you could just put a round there. Um, you could print it in this orientation with a brim, and that would have been probably better than having a big gap there, but it's probably going to work, just not look as nice. This one definitely needed a brim, this did not, and this, the orientation of printing this was like that, and of course I needed... Um, put some supports. So this is the orientation and I had to put support in there. So that's it. Uh, so far the weight uh, is about I think 450 grams for all of the um, lightweight PLA. So without any particular direction on how to mount the um, servos or the servo arm, I made this little servo holder that fits into that slot. Then I just made this to spread the spread the load on the lightweight PLA. And then the way this works is I glued this in here and it helps index the wing so when I glue it onto the fuselage it should be a little easier than not having anything.